What's up guys and welcome to the tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get this reading. Aries. What's up Aries? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Aries as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, Aries. Hope you guys are doing extremely well today. I'm pulling two Oracle decks this week. Oh, are you guys having issues trying to see where the box fits, where the shoe fits? It's like, it's like you have, like, what I'm seeing is like you have something in your hand and you're trying to see where it's going to, where it fits the best. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know. All right, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you. All right. Some of you guys feel nervous about something? I'm feeling so much right now. All right, Aries, what's going on? everybody's getting four huh huh okay bottom of the deck is rigid with vision and fragment and wishing at the bottom okay aries what you don't see coming your intuition i feel like some of you guys this could already be happening your intuition there is an energy around you that feels like it feels like nails on a chalkboard that is that is how i describe this rigid card that's how i are gonna describe it that's the energy i feel like 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 it just makes you feel uneasy there's something about this energy that makes you feel uneasy and i feel like i feel like you're almost there i i feel like you're trying to figure it out like you're just trying to connect the dots i just you're trying to figure out something um and i kind of got that early in the beginning right i want to see let's be nosy what is this frag fragment it's like you're almost there you're almost there you almost see it yeah you're about to give up though <laughs> you're about to give up with seven of wands in reverse but i i, I feel like you're not <laughs> i feel like you're it's like you're just like, I'm about to just, but with the justice card, it's like you want things to be fair. You want things to go the right way. So there's that. But I, I, I feel like because it feels too rigid, you might just be like, you know, but you're doing this in the fairest way. You're doing this in the fairest way for everybody. I don't know. At least you tried, right? Okay. First card you have is complicated. So something's complicated. <laughs> I feel like something you feel confused about something is kind of what I'm getting. You have waiting in reverse. I got impatient off of this. So you're impatient about something. 444 on the timer, angel number. You're impatient about something that's complicated let's see what's going on <laughs> um listen to your intuition listen to your intuition i don't know your energy is um interesting today aries what is waiting in reverse with complicated okay you have the wheel of fortune the five of wands the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups with the Sun. Bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. Did I not say to listen to your intuition? All right, so whatever this is, this is faded. This is faded. So I feel like, I feel like if you're questioning if it was supposed, it is. This is faded here. I feel like there's just a disagreement right now between you and whatever this is. I feel like it brings you happiness here. I feel like a lot of you guys are finding peace with something that was just, it was meant to happen. I 
I feel like your intuition is telling you that there's something here that isn't progressing the way you want to here. It's also not stable financially, materialistically, however you want to see it. It's not a stable energy. And I feel like if it's complicated, it's probably because there's something that is being ignored or not looked at. I, it's like it's like it shouldn't be complicated. If it doesn't make sense, it's just because there's something that you tr maybe you're trying to make it seem like it's a some like you could be trying to make something seem a certain way and it's not that take that how that resonates um but that's what i'm getting here like i feel like something is faded here and i feel like it's bringing you ease the fact that you know that something was was it's going to happen like something is going to happen here you're really antsy about whatever this is um I'm also getting that there was something that unexpectedly happened here that caused some arguments and conflict with the family situation. Um, but I see it's like now you're getting over that. I see you getting over that here because you listen to your intuition and it's like you knew that you couldn't invest in this energy anymore. It's like you chose yourself. And that could be why it's complicated, especially if there's family involved. Of course, it's going to be complicated because I, I see two family cards here. What was the point of that? Let's see. What was the point of this message spirit here? Oh, then you have the sun in reverse. Yeah, you're not feeling so hot. You're not feeling happy about this situation. What is the point of this? Three of Swords in reverse, Judgment in reverse, and Two of Cups. You need to... Um, the higher for reverse. You need to learn this lesson is what I'm going to tell you. I feel like you need to make an important decision that you haven't made yet. With the two of cups, I feel like it's going to be hard because you and this energy share this, the same mutual energy. This could be a love situation. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel like you haven't made an important decision because you're still healing. And the universe kind of, kind of wants you to make a choice here. I hope I'm making sense. All right. Next card you have is Groove here. The universe wants you to get up. Get, get up. Do something. What is this? Be spontaneous in reverse. You're playing it safe in, in a certain energy areas, and you need to stop playing safe. <laughs> okay, stop playing safe. Let me see what this is. What is Groove and be spontaneous in reverse for Aries? Is that in reverse? Okay. Seven of Wands, Three of Cups, Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Emperor with the Nine of Swords in reverse. We need to release some fear here. Whatever this is that you're playing it safe in, I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun. I feel it's going to be friendship, collaboration, celebrations here. I feel like you're going to have control of the way this moves. I just feel like you're being too demanding, and I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like you're being way too demanding, and... It's like you're okay. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Like I'm getting a lot of you guys. Okay, you're not you're not wanting to come off demanding. You're you're kind of trying to. How, what can I say? How I'm feeling? It's like you're trying. It's like you're wanting to match how you feel about yourself with the outside energy, with the people that are, that are around you that's what i'm getting um you're really it's like you're you're not <laughs> but you're coming off crazy <laughs> you're coming off as, as a demanding person here um yeah i do feel, but i feel like you're doing this to release fear for yourself it's like you're just like i need to step away from all of this energy and the people around you are like, oh, look at look at Aries. Like Aries is being really selfish and doing all this extra stuff. And I don't even feel like it's that. People are really thinking that. That's crazy. You're literally just standing your ground. You're defending your position. You're, you're getting your you the emperor. You're taking control of your life. You're focused right now. And people are over here like, but. Make sure you don't stay too much in this energy. 
That's why they're saying that you're playing it safe because you, you can't live here. <laughs> you know? And as an Aries, I feel like for you to get to this point was very hard. Because Aries don't just... And this is like hermit energy. Like you're sitting in a self-reflection mode and you're just like really wanting to be by yourself. Um, focus on yourself and stuff like that. Like really alone type of energy. Like I feel like Aries really don't... It's not like the first thing that, that you guys think about. I feel like you were pushed into this energy and now that you're there, you're just like, oh, you know, this this looks kind of nice. You know, I could, I could stay here a while. The universe is like, no, do not. Do not. Because you can't grow there. You can't grow there. I feel like things things are being delayed. It's like you've been staying there for too long. <laughs> and so the universe wanted you there for a little bit and then move on. But you're kind of like chilling there. Okay? So you got to close that out. Get out of that energy. All right? Next card you have is reminder. Everybody's been getting this card. So there's something the universe wants you to remind. They're here to remind you about something. Dreaming in reverse. know what i got with that it's like the wish that you think it's like there's there's a wish that you want that i feel like you feel like it's not gonna come true you put this wish on the back burner you're like oh, whatever they're bringing that wish back up for some reason let's see what they want to say about that what is this dreaming in reverse and reminder Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> you're about to get some options, Aries. Two of Wands. Hell yeah, you're about to get some options. This could be about a job. Doesn't have to be, though. Um, make sure your boundaries are up. So, I feel like whatever you put on the back burner is about to come back um and is going to offer you something again this could be a job person place or thing take it how it resonates it's gonna be different for all of you um i feel like you're gonna feel trapped you're gonna feel stuck because you're also it's like i feel like there's gonna be two different avenues two different routes that you could go with whatever this is and you're gonna not gonna know which way to go is what i'm getting um But I feel like I feel like you're going to know which one to go. Don't pick anything that's from the past. Don't pick stuff that you know is no good for you, that has no progress, that you can't grow with that energy. If you can't grow with it, mm -mm. maybe that'll help you decipher. Because you're gonna have two options coming in for you, two choices, two things that you're gonna have to do, and. You're gonna be you're gonna be debating which one to take and which one to leave. So um, yeah, this could be about a Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, more Capricorn, Leo, or an Aries, and Scorpio at the bottom. Um, like I said, don't go back to anything in the past, and don't go back to things that you know you can't grow there. Because this could be like this could be like a new thing and then an old thing coming back with the six of swords in reverse. The moon in reverse. But you're gonna be able to see everything that you need to see. Okay. Alright. Next card is trapped here. So very self-explanatory. You feel trapped in something. Hope. But you still have hope that it's gonna get better. That's beautiful. That's the best energy to be in. What is this hope and trapped spirit for Aries? Open trapped. All right, she had the judgment in reverse, the ace of swords in reverse with the nine of pentacles. Okay, whatever this is, I feel like this is about your financial independence here. I feel like you don't know which way to move, you don't know. It's like it's causing a lot of um, confusion here. I feel like some of you guys could have made a bad judgment call, all those of you, I feel like. You're rethinking an idea that you had about your finances. You're like, um, maybe I shouldn't go that route. Let's let's go back to the drawing board. Um, and you're right about that. Because I feel like you still have to learn things. 
that's why the way that you were trying to go with it is not it's like not yet you guys could be trying to leave something or something like that and i feel like with the judgment in reverse you still have to kind of finish some things there others of you i feel like there's um there's some self-doubt going on within you that you need to kind of address the death card the ten of pentacles and the page of swords there's going to be some communication coming in here. I feel like you're about to get some money with the Ten of Pentacles here. It's going to require you to end something, though. But I feel like this way is better for you because I feel like once this communication comes in, it's like you're going to be guided. Okay, it's that way. Instead of you kind of choosing which one to go, it's like the option is going to come to you, um, which is great. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. Oh, that's different. So you guys are about to get some advice from the tea leaf deck. Um, you're the first person that gets advice from this deck. I never thought of this deck as an advice as, as an advice deck, but let's see. All right, spirit, waiting in reverse and complicated. What's the advice for that? I'm gonna take two. All right, you have women dealing or relationship with a woman and peacock beware of great pride here so whatever this is that's complicated here could be with um, a female or someone who um, is has a lot of feminine energy it could be very emotional this person doesn't have to be a woman but I feel like this person has a lot of pride and ego that's probably why it's complicated because this person is making it complicated okay okay next what is be spontaneous in reverse and groove Seahorse, family matters, and broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So it's your it's your family that are kind of upset that you're kind of um, taking care of business. That's their fault. Like you gotta do what you gotta do right now. Um, and I what's what's that? I feel like you can't do anything about that. I I, I feel like you, you you're gonna want to don't put your focus in trying to make these friends these families understand where you're coming from because you have broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem you can't you can't you can't do anything about it you're gonna have to just focus on yourself right now and those that understand understand those that don't don't because you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to find a way where everybody's happy because if you do that then you're going to be neglecting yourself which is what you're trying not to do. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes we have to choose ourselves here, Aries. And if you need to take as much time as you need to, do it. Because at the, at the end of the day, you need to become a better person for yourself before you can be it for anybody else. Okay? All right. Dreaming in reverse and reminder spirit. What is this? You have lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. You'll be sorry, Aries. That's crazy, though, the way they said that. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. So some of you guys, um, this could be about a love situation here that you um, kind of put on the back burner. Um, and the universe kind of let you know, like, we're about to bring this back around for you here. Um, I feel like with this lightning, it's more like you're holding a grudge or something like that is what I'm getting. Because this is something you put to the back burner. It's like now it's going to come back. And the universe kind of wants you to release this grudge that you got here. Cup. You should accept valid criticism. Oh, when energies come back, they might, they might tell you how they're feeling. But with the heart here, I feel like it's going to be like... I feel like they're going to come from a good place, Aries. But I, I don't feel like you're going to take it like they're coming from a good place. Because I feel like they're going to say some things that maybe you didn't do okay um spiritual love wow this is a spiritual connection between you and this person keep your life in balance you guys are about to this could be a libra or you could have libra in your chart you guys coming together is going to bring harmony and balance in both of y'all lives i think i told you guys this in another reading that's nice all right all right next is hope trapped why is this here oh you got three you got cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. You have bow, you are highly thought of, and you have teardrops, great personal sorrow. Um, 
So this idea for your finances that you had that you kind of had to go back to the drawing board board for, I feel like it made you really upset because you kind of, you were really amped. You were really hyped. You were like, yeah, this plan's going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it didn't and you could feel like doo-doo. Um, and you could feel like, well, I, I hate life. Like, why is it like this? Blah, 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 blah. But I feel like, it's at the bottom of the deck heart great happiness i mean what you don't see coming is happiness here um but i also feel like the your universe your god your angels like they are really around you right now giving you a lot of hope to get you out because it, it's like you could be really um disappointed in yourself because a plan that you wanted to go a certain way didn't go but this is, this is supposed to be a learning curve for you aries you're supposed to kind of Figure out why it didn't work. Um, hit the board again. Like I said, the universe is going to bring you something. So maybe this was like stop going for things and allow things to come, which which is a challenge for you, Aries, because you're the go-getter of the sign. You go and does it. You don't wait for nobody, you know, and maybe this is this could be a little challenging because you got to come out of your comfort zone in order to kind of make some things happen. It's like you're not going to have control of it. And that could be also what's a little scary, you know, but you got this. You got this. All right. All right, so that I have for you, I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.